The 4Rs, as you know, is the right product, the right place, the right time, and the right amount. The reason that that's crucial is you have to be putting your inputs on in the most effective way possible to be uh, competitive in a highly competitive commodity industry. If you're overspending, over applying, putting the wrong product on or the wrong time, you're wasting money, which erodes your competitive uh, position in the market. The 4R Nutrient Stewardship Report. Information about how the right source, right rate, right time, and right place interact with issues facing everyone. Terry Tyndall and Matthew Clements are 2015 for our Advocate winners. They recently shared some of their thoughts about the four R's. We go through a checklist mentally every time that we do a fertilizer or a chemical application. Number one, we have to identify, is the benefit greater than the cost? Because if the answer is no, that stops, stops the discussion before it starts. Then, if the answer is yes, then we need to make sure that we're optimizing it by making sure that we're using the product that is the most applicable to the target that we're going after, whether it's crop protection or whether it's uh, crop nutrition. We need to make sure that we're using just the right amount, not one uh, atom more because of cost and then the long-term environmental benefits. We need to make sure that we're putting it on in the most efficient means possible so we're getting that crop protection or nutrient to where it needs to be to do the job and we're doing it in the right amount. And that's something that is very applicable and permeates through my whole team. We go to the concern that it's all about rate. If you just, uh, if you just reduce the, the rate of the nutrient, you would solve the problem. Well, it's far, f it's far from it. It's far from just uh, everything's dealing with the dosage amount of nutrients, but it's really utilizing the technology of placement um, or, or utilizing the enhanced efficiency fertilizer technologies that have been developed over the last few years. As we begin to, uh, to address those parts of the 4R, you know, we find ourselves as a, 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 a being able to address community, to address the environment, and to realize that it's a balance of not just the rate of materials that we're applying, but the other three principles of the, of the four R's as far as the placement, the timing, and the source of nutrients, and it's an entire package. And it's the four R's that allow us to communicate some of that information to people that we have within our community, as well as policy leaders that are making uh, decisions within a legislature. For more information about the four R's, visit nutrientstewardship.com.